Morning everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Big morning this morning. I'm using my new, um, I'm calling it my artist island, my artist island for the first time. My amazing husband has built me um, an art desk out of really cheap kitchen units and a piece of kitchen worktop that he's cut in half and bolted it together. So now it's worktop height, so absolutely perfect. It's on wheels so I can move it, so I can, um, I'll show you in a second, so I can get round from all edges. Um, and it's got storage underneath, so it's brilliant. So I'm so excited. So I'm in my studio, I'm using my artist island, which is great. So to celebrate, I'm gonna do a lovely, lovely heart Dutch pour um, piece. Um, similar to this, um, this size canvas, this is a 50 by 50, so similar size canvas, similar shape, similar design heart, but instead, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna fill the center. So it's not going to be just the outline, it's going to be a full, um, uh, filled heart so just really excited to try it big difference I'm going to use Prussian blue so a really dark blue base so it will look completely different so I'm excited to try so um, let me just show you my desk first so this is it um, it's a lot lot bigger than I was expecting so it's one and a half meters long by just over 120 deep um, I've got amazing cupboards under there um, nothing in these yet but just look at oh just a pot look at all that storage it's going to be amazing um it's a worktop you can see the worktop here um i just need to finish the edges put some edging strip on there i've got another little cupboard here and the same the other side um and then it's on oh, it's like the light it's on wheels with locks actually i probably won't even use the locks because it's so heavy so big and heavy um so so excited so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, colour wise, this is my Prussian blue, so I've mixed this for the base. In the centre of the heart, initially, I'm just going to put white so that the blue doesn't show through. I've got Pepio Studio Acrylics colours, silver, gold, green, yellow, Amsterdam Caput Morton Violet, um, Pepio Iridescent Violet Blue, Montmartre Magenta, a Cerulean Blue, Amsterdam Sky Blue, Amsterdam Persian Rose, um, and then Deco Art, um, I can't remember the colour, it's the, um, the uh, really sparkly blue, um, oh, what's it called, I can't remember, um, and then this is the Prussian Blue I'm using, so De La Rowney System 3 Acrylic, um, I've mixed everything with the U Clay Flower Troll, the Oa uh, Troll, and I've mixed it two parts Oa Troll to one part paint to one and a half parts water, except the iridescent colours, the sparkly ones, they're two parts water. Um, I've got my canvas ready, I've got my paper heart I've just cut out, so let's get started. So I've put really big push pins in the back of this canvas. And then I've placed it on my worktop and then I've just used the spirit level just to check that it's level. Um, all the four edges and the centre is level, which it is. Um, I've cut out a paper heart. So I got a piece of paper and folded it in half. I then drew with a pencil the half shape of the heart, cut it out and then opened it up. And then I've placed it onto my canvas to check I'm happy with it. Now when I did it initially, it just stuck out too far at the edges here. So I've just folded it back again and just trimmed it. So I've just, just keep trimming it, tweaking it until I'm really, really happy with it. So a big difference with this pour compared to the other hearts I've done is I'm actually now just gonna use this template and draw around it. Um, I'm just checking I'm happy that it's in the right position, that it's central. So last time, I put the base colour on first and then put the template on and then poured the design around the template and then lifted the template. But this time, because I'm doing a base colour that's different colour to the central colour, I don't need to do that. So this, this should work a lot better, a lot easier. So I'm literally just drawing around my heart so I can now get rid of the paper heart. That's done. Right. So I, let's see, think how I'm going to do this. I want to pour white in the centre and I want to pour the blue around the edge. So just to show you the consistency, Dutch pour consistency. So it's extremely runny. 
maybe I can show you better with the white. It's nice and runny. So where, as that paint just enters the surface again, it, it just goes straight under the surface. It doesn't leave a trace. So nice and runny. Actually, let's put the white on first. Right, that's the white down. I haven't quite gone to the pencil edge because I don't particularly want the colours to touch, to overlap. So then I'm just going to do the edges now with the blue. Right, happy with that so far. I'm just going to burst the air bubbles. Um, I've covered the edges with the paint, but I will be covering them better later. Um, either when they're dry or once, the, once this is finished, I'll go back and do the edges again. Right, I realised when I was um, telling you what colours I was going to use in this pour, Rattling off the list, I realised there's far too many. I just randomly picked the colours off the shelf that I thought would look great, but there's just too many. So I've now taken out the Amsterdam Sky Blue and the Cerulean Blue and the Caput Morton Violet. I love this colour, but it's so dark, I just don't know how well it's going to show up against the dark blue. So I've just gone for the, the brighter, more, more vibrant colours. So I'm just first of all going to start with, as I would do normally, just putting down some colours for the outline, for the, the main heart on the outside. Right, so that's the Persian rose down. I want just a hint of green green and gold, just to create some contrast, just to make it a bit brighter. So this is the Pebio Iridescent Green Yellow. And then I've got the Deco Art Blue. Sapphire, that's what it's called. Really beautiful metallic colour. And then the Pebio Gold, this is the lighter of the two Pebio Studio Acrylics Golds. And I've got the Iridescent Pebio Violet Blue. I'm adding three pinks to this because I want I want pink to be the dominant colour because pink and blue just look gorgeous together. And then the silver. Ah, I've also taken out the white, haven't I? The pearlescent white. Do I have that here? Yeah, I've taken out the pe uh, pearl white as well. And then the magenta. Right, that is quite a lot of paint now. So I'm going to blow this out. I'm going to blow it out using my mouth so I've got lots and lots of control over the paint. I'm going to start, I'm going to move my canvas and I'm going to start with this bit here. 
I'm just going to reposition my canvas. It's half done, so now I'm going to do exactly the same, but on the other side. Right, I'm really happy with that. The colours are gorgeous. Really pleased with the colours. So I'm going to spend a lot of time tweaking the edges, playing around with the edges, but I think what I'm going to do is fill the paint, fill the canvas in the middle first, because the inside layer, a line, doesn't matter as much. The outside really matters, but I think I'm just going to play around with the middle. Uh, fill the middle first so I'm going to put more paint down but just in exactly the same order as before Wow, this is so pretty. So my plan was to have no white showing, but I like that white. I like it, I really like it. Now the outside heart, oh my goodness, the cells that are cropping up are just amazing. So over time, I think the same will happen in the center. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Right, so I don't need to do a lot now, but I'm just going to tweak the edges slightly. I just need to bring this up here slightly more just to get that perfect heart shape. I'm going to bring this pointy bit down a little bit more. So just a little bit of tweaking and where there's some big white gaps, I'm just going to blow into them very slightly.
am so happy with this. I've spent ages just tweaking the shape of the heart because that needs to be absolutely spot on. So really happy with that now. I love the blue, um, the blue base. It will go darker as it dries, which, which is which is what I'm planning. I want a really dark base. But at the moment, the contrast between that and the heart is gorgeous. Um, let me take you in for a close up because the colors are amazing. Let's just focus it. And you can, can you see just how sparkly it is? It's so pretty. I love the hint of green and the gold in there because it just brings it alive. It just makes it so fresh and so vibrant. I've always thought my hearts look a little bit like a wreath of flowers. Um, so I think to have a bit of green in there and a bit of yellow really just adds to that. I really like the colour scheme. But pink's definitely, pink and blue actually, the deco art blue is quite dominant, but that magenta I think is the is the main colour. It's just some gorgeous details, some gorgeous cells. And I just love how floaty it is, how floaty all the colours are. And having that white in between, um, I kept blowing this way and then back this way, um, just to try and get the almost the, the wreaths of flowers just to sort of dance with each other, just to mix mix in um, a little bit. So really pleased. Um, I really hope it dries like this. Um, eek, hope, fingers crossed, everything crossed. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the dry painting. This has to be one of my favorites. It's just so cheerful, so happy, so fun, so vibrant really love it. Um, the dark blue base is amazing. You'll notice there's a little whiter patch there um, where it hasn't fully covered and also if you look along the edge, I don't know if you can see, it hasn't covered properly. So what I will be doing is going back over with the blue, just adding some more blue until all those white patches have disappeared. I love the edges, I just love how irregular the edges are on such a regular shape. I, I think that looks great. I think if you have a heart with a really straight edge for artwork, it, it's just not gonna look as good. So I love how sort of floaty and flowy it is. Um, I love the white in the center. I think that just really brings it alive. It makes it so bright and bold. Um, and can you see how shiny it is, how iridescent it is? There's iridescence throughout this entire painting. So it just looks so pretty. Um, yeah, really, really happy with this. Um, let me know what you think. Do you have any thoughts, any comments um, that would maybe help me for next time? What, what do you think? Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up if you like the painting. If you'd like to see more of my videos, do hit the subscribe button. And if you click to all, you'll get um, notifications as soon as I upload new videos. Great, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.